Hello all and welcome to my channel, Kaz here. Today we are turning our attention back to my winter waffle pattern which came out in November last year and has been super duper popular. And we are going to turn that pattern into an ear warmer. So stay tuned. <music> to be using this lovely Amelia yarn. It's um, an Aran Fleck and the colour is FL030 Fleck. Okay, it's a very pretty one and I bought it from uh, Wilkinson's which is a, a UK store that sells nice yarns. So we're going to cast on with waste yarn from needle one over and under, over and under. Centre tension hole, five rows. I'm going to add my rip cord as I did for the trailing ivy year warmer. And that just adds one row in order to help us remove our waste yarn at the end of our project because the cast on row is an absolute nightmare to get rid of. Moving on to our main yarn, and we're going to do three rows to start our project off. This is a, a thicker Aran yarn, so I'm going to use the larger of the uh, tension hooks on this one, or the tension holes rather. And that's our three rows to start off with. And now we're going to start our pattern. Okay, and the same as it was with the trailing ivy one, we're going to move across. We're going to knit our first one, two, and three needles. And we're going to start our pattern at needle four. And as you can see here, I've still got my black blobs in place on the needle four and needle 17. And the knit is going to be in the same range as it was for the trailing ivy year one when I uploaded a couple of days ago. Okay, now then, for winter waffle, we're going to be wrapping two needles at a time. Okay, so if you want to go and check out that video as well, because that's got a two camera angle on it. Um, for, for this one, we're just going to be sticking to the one camera. Okay, so we're going to take it lightly around those two hooks there like that. Very little tension indeed. It's just sitting there nice and loosely, okay, underneath the hook so you don't get any drop stitches. And we wrap those two. We carry on, we wrap those two, and we wrap those two, and those two, and the next two, and the next two, and this is our final two to wrap, and those two. I'm picking up some cotton from my sewing project, apologies for that. Right. And we're going to put our yarn back in the yarn feeder. I'm using the loosest one, the largest hole there at the moment. Now we're going to finish this row off. Making sure that's all the way in there. So we finish that row off and then we do another full row. Watching these, we need to push these down if they rise up because they will cause a little bit of over tension on the machine. So to help it along we'll push them down. So we do that row and then we do another row. Taking our tim again, helping these stitches down if they need to come down. And to the end of this row we will start our pattern at needle three and not needle four. So we knit needles one and two and we remove our yarn. Okay, so we've knitted needles one and two and this is the start of row four. And we're gonna start now on needle three. So in wrapping row four, the start needle three and four. Okay, and we move on wrapping two again, pushing down where we need to. 
pushing down up to up to up to up to here we are and this one we end on the needle before 17 so we end on uh, 15 and 16 on row 4 okay so I'm going to knit that one because I went for just a tad too, too much there, getting carried away. Back into the yarn feeder, I'm using the largest tension hole, like I've already said. Sorry to repeat myself. I'm going to finish this row off. Okay, that's one row. We're going to do another complete row again, helping our stitches down as they start to rise up those pins there. And another row again, helping those little stitches pop back down. There we go, lovely chubbly. And this time we go back knitting to needles one, two and three and we start the pattern all over again, okay? Because it's a six row pattern repeat. And like I said, you can pop into the uh, winter waffle beanie video and check that one out as well for extra clarification with the two camera angles on that Okay, and I'll run you through this again now. I'll zoom in and I'll run you through this again So running you through the pattern sequence one more time Row one of the six row pattern repeat starts on needle four and we wrap those two Wrap those two Again, oops, and wrap again, and wrap again, again, and this is our last two because I've got my little black blobs telling me when to stop. Yarn back in the yarn feeder, largest tension hook I've got because this is quite a, a robust iron yarn, and we're going to finish this row off. And then we're going to do a complete row, pushing these stitches down as they rise up the needles and cause the machine to slow down somewhat. Okay. And then another row again. And the, need, the stitches seem to be a little easier on that row, but again, give them a little bit of help if you need to. And to start row four, we are going to knit needles one and two, and we're going to start our wrapping on needles three and four this time. Yarn out of the yarn feeder, and we start on the needle before our black blob, okay? So three and four, five and six, seven and eight, Nine and ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen and sixteen will be our last ones. Yarn in the yarn feeder, larger center hook for me, tension hook rather for me. Finish this row off. One row again, helping our stitches down. One row again, back to needle three, stopping our knits on needle three and we'll start our wrapping again from needle four and that's back to row one of our six row pattern repeat. And that's what we do over and over and over for how many rows you want. 
If you want to do the complete year warmer in winter waffle, then of course after your three rows you just carry on with your 84 rows in pattern and your three rows to um, finish off before you do your waist yarn, okay? But if you want to do it sectional, like I did with the uh, trailing ivy one with a plain panel at the back, making it quicker and easier to do, then you just do, after your three, you do 26 rows of the pattern, okay? 32 rows of plain, 26 of pattern, and three rows again to finish off before you put your waist yarn and crank it all off and put it all together, okay? So I'm going to carry on with this now. I think I'm going to do a complete one this time. I'm feeling brave, all right? And I'll come back um, at the end and we'll assemble it quickly together, okay? See you shortly then. Thanks, guys. So I've just finished my pattern rows and I'm going to do my last three rows. I'm going to leave a tail of about 12 to 18 inches so we can sew up our year warmer at the end. And we're going to cast off now with five or six rows of waist yarn and then we'll just leave it crank off the machine and we'll go to the putting it together stage. It's always one hook, for me anyway, that'll stick. So there's our work off and ready to go. And doesn't that pattern look cute? The next stage is to seal up our tube ends. And with my yarn tails on the left hand side, I make sure it's all straight and all the lines are lined up there each side, okay? And then you probably already know, but we take the one end, stitch then it's right on the end, grab one from the bottom and pull it through. And grab one from the top and pull it through. We carry on like that all the way down the length of the tube, sealing it off. And I'm going to do the both ends now, and we'll come back for the assembly stage. sealed off, we're ready to assemble our year warmer. And here's our piece ready to assemble into the year warmer shape. Okay, and I got a bit of a confession to make. When I sealed up this end, I made a bit of a boo-boo, okay? And because I used the pull cord that was a similar colour to my yarn, I ended up sealing that line instead, okay? So we all make mistakes, and I've got a loose stitch there, but like I said, I'll catch that in now when, when we put it all together. So hey-ho, mistakes happen. Just roll with it and just do what you can do. That's me being honest and warts and all, okay? So now to the assembly process, okay? So we've got our fabric piece here with the pattern facing upwards. We've got our tail on a darning needle. We're going to bring our two ends together, okay? Fold them together, two ends together like that. Okay, and with the trailing ivy uh, year warmer, we put it in all the way and all the way, forming an S shape and sewed it together. This time we're going to do it slightly different. We're going to offset it slightly like that, so it's kind of halfway in. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to sew the centre first. Okay, so we're going to go through the very top of our work. Okay. And there you can see my schoolgirl error there. I went and took the wrong line as everything is kind of very similar in colour. And it's so gloomy here today. I sealed up my ripcord end. Oops. <laughs> Never mind, we just work with it, don't we? So we seal up along there. stitch to secure that section and then what we do is we turn it around and our two little floppy sections there we bring those together 
we sew those two together, starting from there. That's the way I do it anyway. off and to secure it in place and hide our tails in the layers. And once we've done all our sewing we just turn our project right side out and that's a slightly different closure for you there and that's our winter waffle year warmer. And that is really pretty. Don't forget to check out the winter waffle uh, beanie video that I uploaded um, in November last year, which has been very, very popular. And I hope you like this one. As you can see, the pattern goes all the way around the back. But like I said, if you want to do the cheats version, you can by all means by doing three and um, 26 rows of pattern, 32 rows of plain across the back, back to 26 pattern, and three to finish off, of course, with your waist yarn on both ends. All right, so thank you for tuning in. I hope you like this project. I think it's really, really cute. Um, and that's a slightly different closure for you there. And I just wanted to show you that I make mistakes as well. All right, and it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay, we just deal with them and move on. Anyway, thanks for tuning in guys. And as always, if you like it, please subscribe, like, comment and share and um, bring other people to my, to my channel so that they can take part as well. And I love chatting with you all and talking everything, crafting and knitting. See you next time and if this project is of use to you, especially if you sell items, would you please consider giving a small donation to a local no-kill animal charity or animal shelter, which would mean the world to me. Thank you for supporting my channel. Everything you do helps me keep content coming through to you and that's what I aim to do. Take care guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.